Hi everyone and Shalom. Welcome to Judea and Samaria, Israel. This is Shmuel from Christian Friends of Israeli Communities and welcome to my vlog where I'm going to show you another beautiful community in the Biblical heartland. Join me! Shalom everyone, Shmuel here and today I'm filming from my home in Tufim. That's what I see when I go outside. And the reason I'm here in Tufin today is not about talking about our community, it's talk about something general, something very personal. And this is the state of situation with um, our life right now here in the region of Judea and Samaria. We are celebrating today the holiday of Sukkot, the Feast of Harvest. And I want you to come with me to my sukkah as we speak about this crucial element our safety. So first of all, my sukkah, our sukkah, welcome. And I want to talk with you for a minute. There is no um, easy way to talk about this situation, about this problem, and I've never uh, talked about it in a video because uh, what happens right now is uh, we are in the middle of a very hard um, period of time. And I'm talking about a difficult time. I mean about the fact that in the last month or two months, we see attempts day after day uh, for terror attacks in the region. It is nonstop uh, stones being thrown into cars and Molotov bottles, we're not even counting them. I'm talking about actual shooting. Shooting that is being taking place uh, in almost every road in the region and it is a matter of time till the situation is going to um, bring horrible bad news we waited for that we anticipated it's going to happen after more than 300 incidents in the last month or so and unfortunately um, this weekend uh, we lost a soldier a young soldier that was keeping um, a check post near Jerusalem near Shafat she was murdered. So I want to uh, bring you um, up to date to the situation with numbers and figures. And I want to show you some images uh, and videos of what happened in the area. I hope that after this, you will understand more what we're going through. So this is the road I'm driving from my community of Tufim to the community of Kaneshamon, where CFOIC office is. Uh, that's a main road that we drive together um, Israeli cars and Palestinian cars and a couple of weeks ago there's a new attempt to try to slow down this road people especially Palestinians would drive really really fast and cross this road like crazy so um, they're trying to uh, do something to slow the the cars and what they did is a roundabout and you know, when there's a roundabout, people are driving slower. But I want to show you what happens when you do a roundabout in this area, in Samaria. So this is a video of a, of a, of a bus that uh, drives through. Because when you go to the roundabout and you drive slowly, um, this village we just entered is Azun. This is a very hostile village. And I'm talking about a place that has actual terrorists that murdered Jews and um, came from this community, from this, from this village. And that's what they do. And every day, twice a day, sometimes three times a day, uh, kids uh, stop here and just stone cars. That's the way it looks. That is the result of what happens when you're being uh, um, stoned. I'm not even talking about the attempts to throw Molotov's bottles and situations that come from it. Um, so after it happened for several days, uh, day after day and shooting in different areas, there was a demonstration. What's a demonstration? A couple of Jewish families went to a junction and just protest. They said, we need to stop, you need to protect us. Where's the soldiers, where the, where the country, where the government is? And this is the regional director of the area, Mr. Uh, Yossi Dagan. He is in charge of everything that happens in Samaria. And that will happen next. 
They were shot in the middle of the protest. Uh, they were shot from a village nearby and they had to uh, duck for cover. And as you can see, that's the situation they were handling. Uh, so my thought about this situation is, first of all, um, I want to show you what we're going through. And um, I mentioned in the past how my kid uh, drives in the same road every day in a bulletproof bus. But that's the notion and that's the, what we are facing every day. And as we said, and we saw miracles happen many of the time, but sometimes they stop. And it's only a matter of time that this situation is going to uh, explode. And who knows who's gonna be next. I'm filming this inside the sukkah. Uh, and in this holiday of the sukkot, when we sit in these shacks, we know that we are dwelling in a temporary house. Um, and we are not afraid. We can leave our home and our shelters and we step outside and we believe God is gonna trust us. But um, this video today is trying to show you guys what we're going through and what we are trying that needs to be changed. We in CFOAC, with your help, are doing a lot to protect these communities. And I'm sure if you're gonna go our, on our website and you're gonna see all the projects that are connected to, to um, defense and security, you will understand how much this is important and crucial. But I wanna say more than that. I think that also shows you what happens in the Israeli politics when we are not strong. When we uh, show our weaknesses, um, the other side knows how to take advantage. They're only um, are waiting to see we are weak and they're waiting around the corner. Um, that's the situation that happens right now. We are in the end of October um, 2022 and I'm sure uh, you're gonna be updated soon on more news. I hope only on good news. So from my sukkah and this uh, not so positive um, ending, I wanna wish all of us here a safe and secured holiday. And I wanna wish you guys um, only the best. Uh, keep um, getting our updates and learn what happens to us. That's real, that's a struggle, that's our situation and that's life. Chak Sameach, all the best, Shmuel. I hope you enjoyed that film. And we have lots more film content and emails and articles that I'm sure you will enjoy as well. Check out our website at cfoic.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You can do that right from the homepage. I know you will really enjoy the content that will land in your inbox on a regular basis. Hope to see you soon.